Greetings, this is Dr. Douglas Maurer from iMedical Apps with another medical app review. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new app from the Sanford Guide family. This app is called Lederman's Internal Medicine and Critical Care Pocket Guide. This is the first time that this particular pocket guide has been available for the mobile platform. Previously, the Sanford Guide offered it in the 5th edition as a pocket guide, but this year they're offering it both as a pocket book and a mobile pocket guide for both iOS and Android. Let's take a look. As you can see here, it covers a number of core internal medicine ward topics and has a section dedicated to critical care. I also like the handy formulas and groovy drugs section. Let's take a look at some of these handy formulas. You can see they're divided into a number of areas. If we look, for example, under renal equations, you see some classic ones here, and you can utilize the app to do the calculations, which is nice. It doesn't just talk about the equations. It actually allows you to do the math within the app to make the calculation. It may not be quite as pretty as QX Calculate or MD Calc, but it gets the job done. If we look under code algorithms, it's nice to see these easy to find within the app. You can see I've bookmarked those because it's nice to have an app that has these in an easy to find place. Nothing fancy, but you can see the algorithm pretty easily. Everything is referenced, which is also nice to see. And you can click on these hyperlinks and they'll go to that particular web resource. Typically, these are all PubMed resources or guidelines that it'll link out to. You can see the interface is very snappy. Going to critical care, knowing that Dr. Lederman is a cardiologist, an interventional cardiologist and researcher uh, at the NIH, the NHLBI. Has a number of information on various modes. Some of these, as you can see, you have to kind of pinch to zoom to get them to fit right. Obviously, if you have a larger device, more of a phablet or actual tablet, you'll be able to see these a bit more easily than I can on my iPhone 6S. One area I thought was interesting, if you look under infectious disease, since this is obviously the Sanford Guide's wheelhouse, it has some basic information, but there's no ability to link between apps. I would thought it would be nice to see if you owned both any of the other Sanford guides for iPhone that you could jump back and forth between here. That is not the case. Even if you go down to groovy drugs and find potentially some antibiotics buried in here, they do not jump back and forth between apps. That's kind of disappointing. Nonetheless, it has quite a bit of nice information from a critical care ward standpoint. And there are a number of hyperlinks within the app. So for example, you can jump to Warfarin and you can see again the references here. The information is actually really nice. It's not as uber detailed as what you'd see with UpToDate or Dynamed, but again, this is meant to be a quick reference pocket guide. If you see something you like, you can quickly add that as a bookmark, save it, put notes in, and move on. Let's take a look here under critical care. One thing I noticed that was a little odd is things are not alphabetized. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe they just think if you're thinking critical care, you're most concerned about shock, sepsis, anaphylaxis. I can't necessarily argue with that, but it is a little odd just seeing things out of order. Looking under sepsis, it does link to the update to surviving sepsis. Again, you've got links back and forth within the app. Certainly not oodles of information, though, and that may be an issue for some users. Looking at another section, classic kind of ward endocrinology issues. Here you see different types of hyperglycemic crises from DKA to HHS. Comparing the two together, talking about 
how to treat. And as you notice, well reference with links again within the app. Pretty slick. So things I liked about this particular app, the interface is easy to use. Universal search, which I didn't really show you, but it's right there. It's fast. It's not as comprehensive, but comprehensive enough. And it's $29.99, which compared to some of the other pocket guides like Ferries and Sanford, or Ferries and the Washington Manual, uh, makes it kind of a bargain and certainly a lot cheaper than buying the full downloadable version of UpToDate or Dynamed. But it also comes at the price of not having as much information. It's available for Android, which is nice to see for once for some of our apps. Some of these pictures, I didn't show you too many of those, but let's go back to cardiology for a second. I mean, it has great pictures. It's just you've got to scroll around a little bit to see them. But it's nice to see those built into the app. And they're pretty high quality drawings and pictures and whatnot. Just that may not work great on a smaller device. As I've already kind of hinted at, the actual information within some of these sections may not be as comprehensive as what you'd find in a true medical reference guide, but it will probably get the job done on rounds at the point of care. I also showed you how these sections are not alphabetized and that it does not link to other Sanford guides.